Hey guys, Baradus here and we're back with Space Hulk. So, I just finished recording the last episode and went to play the Fraps file in Media Player and it had no sound and I nearly flipped right out because I'm so sick of this laptop, but luckily it does have sound so it just wasn't working in Media Player because my sound card's melted. I think it's melted. I do. This summer heat and it's not even summer yet, has just destroyed it. But, yeah, so we're back. The recording is working, so we're a go. We're going to keep going. Uh, so we, let's see, last episode we revived this guy. We dropped a wall there, kept blocking off these stealers, went into Overwatch, dropped a flamer there, and yeah. Hopefully we're going to keep them at bay for another turn. So, let's see what's happening. Oh, there we go. So, yep, they're just bringing more and more blips in that corridor. Ah, crap. That's exactly what I didn't want them to do. My has failed. Ah, of course it has. I have movement, brothers. Okay. And another blip up here. Let's see, it's not walking around the corner because if it does, we'll reveal it. So, okay, so we got one point again, so we're pretty. pretty much gonna have to play it safe again this turn. So, let's see. One, two. Three, and I can drop template down there. But I've only got four flamer templates left, so it's. Hmm. Gonna have to do it though. Yeah, actually, with these guys getting into this room, which I didn't want to have happen, but. Now that they have, there's not much I can do about it, so instead, we can spend two to there, three to turn, and then drop a flame template up here. So, I'll just hold off on that, and I'll hold off on placing my wall. Let's see what good old brother Claudio can do. So, four points will get into there, which I think means I'm going to have to wall these guys off again because if I try to flame her up here it's going to hit him and I've tried that in the past and it normally ends up in Toasted Terminator which isn't the best thing in the world so yeah so we'll move him straight up to get him into this room now I think he'll be safe from these stealers because they'd have to get through three doors each of which costs an extra action point to move so like turn for one. Actually, he'd have to turn. He'd be this guy. So he turn for one, move to two, open door three, move four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Assuming they can even walk over this guy, that corridor might be blocked because he's sitting there. Yeah. Okay. That'll be fine, so we'll move this guy down here as well. Because we're going to need... Uh, yeah, okay. I, w I was thinking about grabbing this guy up here as well, but... No, that's just not going to happen. So what we're going to start doing is moving everyone down here. We're going to pick up this guy, try and get to this guy as well, and then we're going to head for the exit. Because I don't think we get any bonus for saving more than the required Librarian and two Terminators, so we're really just going to start getting out of here. Because the longer we stay, the less likely it is we'll survive. So, yeah, I'll spend this guy's four to get him around into this corridor as well. Uh, okay. Up here, the Librarian's pretty much safe, yeah. All the enemies are pretty much down here and in here. So we'll 
choose him, first thing we'll do is we'll drop another barrier there, because if we forget to do that, we'll be wiped out pretty much in one turn. And then we'll just spend his four points to run him down here. So we need to get him down here and into this corridor as well so that we can start pushing our way to the exit. We want to lead with the flamer, at least until he runs our charges. So we've got one extra point, so what I'll do is I'll run him... I don't know if I want to get right in this guy's face because I think he can then hit me without taking the fire damage if he doesn't die. I might run into here, turn him for two, uh, turn him for one, and then that'll leave us with two more points to drop a fire template. So we can drop it like that, or like this. I'm going to drop it like this because if he lives, I want him to take damage trying to get closer. And he died. It's pretty, it's like two plus to kill, so the very low chance he lives, but I have seen Gene Steelers survive the flamer and then walk out of it and kill me, so it's best to err on the side of caution. Okay, so that corridor is blocked off again, so they're not going to be doing anything this turn. Uh, there's no hostiles up here except for this blip here, but it won't get anywhere near us in time, and yeah, okay, that'll do. Let's see how this goes. They come. So they've revealed them, so that whole corridor is just gene stealers now. So let's see, we've got blips up there which aren't really going to matter at this point. These guys could become a problem. Alright, oh yes, four points, okay. I just realized there is a good, there is a, 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 well, a real reason to save this guy. If he's a sergeant, when we res him, he should give us the reroll for our combo points, which would be very handy. But, yeah, okay. So we've got four combo points, so we're sitting pretty good this turn. Now... I think my best bet is going to be to block this corridor now, turn this guy around and drop the flamer up here. We need to get these guys cleared out because I need to use my uh, force barrier in other places and these guys are just getting a bit ridiculous now. Let's see, three points will get him in there and he can res. So that's good, that'll get us a res without costing any additional points. Move him into here. Res this guy. So we've resed Brother Omnio. Okay, cool. Now, Brother Dino needs to move into this corridor. And, oh. Let's see, we're going to have hostiles coming from up here soon. Uh, yeah, I think our best bet is to move him down and then once we've got this corridor clean, move him back and put him into Overwatch so he can cover our escape. So we'll move him down three. We don't want to move him too far out of the way. Now, we need to... Turn around for two. Turn around for two. Move for two and then flamer for two. How far will the flamer reach? Ah, oh, yes, okay, so we can cook. Yeah, okay, I'll put it like this because I want to keep that one extra block just in case. Alright, so we're going to drop the flamer right down there. Let's see, we killed two. So yeah, see, one of them survived. So even on a two plus roll, we can still fail. And I play the tabletop Warhammer 40k sometimes, and... 
it's so easy to fail a 2+, plus constantly. I have the worst luck at that game. Okay, so what we're going to do is force barrier here, here, here. I think we can force barrier here just fine. They shouldn't be able to sidestep that, I hope. If they can, that's a bit ridiculous. Otherwise, we'll just... Oh yeah, we'll run him down four. So my plan is... Oh, he's only got ten psychic power left. My plan is to lead with one of these two, because the Flamer Template or the Psychic Storm are going to just ruin these guys to get us to the exit. Librarian has to get there, so he's going to have to be somewhere at the front. He can't hold them off at the back. Okay, we've got four points left. So what I'll do is I'm going to get our newly revived brother Omnio. I'm going to... can I... oh, I can't even move him. Oh, that's not good. These guys might be able to get onto him. Uh... Okay, well, I'll spend the four points I have left to get this guy back out into the corridor, then. I think... I'll spend one... Yeah, we'll do that. Ah, oh, no! Damn it. No, just turn him around. That'll do. I also want to move this guy forward one and move him down and turn him for two so he'll be ready to go next turn. Okay, I just have to hope these guys can't break through here in one turn or we could be in serious trouble. <sighs> okay, let's see how this goes. If they can sidestep that force barrier, I am done. Okay, good, they can't. That one burned to death, trying to move. Good. Those ones won't enter the fire, because it's too dangerous. And, okay. Yeah, good. If they all come down this corridor, we can deal with them. It's only if they try and flank us that it could be a problem. So three more combo point or bonus points generated. I don't feel like they're called combo points. They've got to have another name, but I can't think of what it is. I'm sure it's really obvious too. Uh, oh, I should have unjammed his bolter last turn. Dang. Okay. We can deal with this. So, this guy is going to spend two to turn around. And we'll leave the door shut because that's going to cost him an extra point to open, which might save his life. But we're going to put him into Overwatch facing that door. So as soon as they open that door, he's going to get shot and hopefully die. Now the next step... How are we looking up here? We should be safe another turn from anything coming from the top there. Because they have to open that door to get through. So I think... What have we got? Two more flamer charges. Let's see, how far back can we get this? Oh yeah, that looks good. Yep, let's drop that. Fry some more gene stealers. Nice! Killed them all. Very nice. Okay. So that's him. He's got two more points. So let's just... Yeah, let's just backpedal. Just to start getting him towards that exit. Uh, I'm going to be hoping this guy survives so that these two can push down here and get into this corridor. But I'll send this guy up to here for three. Let's see, we're not going to have any hostiles from there. Could move him two and put him into Overwatch. Yeah, I'll do that. Get him up here, put him into Overwatch so if anything comes through this door, we'll shoot at it. Holding position. Like that. Now, he's moved, he's right. This guy... Uh, move him there for one, turn him for two, and we'll put him on guard. 
That way he's facing the right way to move forward and he's on guard, so if this guy does fall, he'll have a chance of surviving. Which just leaves the librarian. So... What's Psychic Storm gonna do? If I drop it there, does it hit me? That was two. Okay, if we drop it like that, it's gonna hit all of them. And it's gonna cover that pathway. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Ooh. Oh, they got fried. Oh, okay, that's... Oh, okay, he's gonna be in trouble now. Uh, we'll unjam his weapon. We're gonna shoot the bolter at him. Alright, you're gonna see the sustained attack now, so we had to kill on a 6+, plus. we rolled a 1 and a 4 and missed. Now, we kill on a 5+. plus. We rolled two fours and missed. Now we're gonna kill on a 4+. plus. Oh my god. Oh no, it's still a 5+, plus. I thought it got higher. Oh. Okay, we can make one more shot and then we'll have to put him in overwatch and hope he survives. Let's do it. Okay, good. So we took him down. We're gonna put him in overwatch. That's actually pretty bad. I thought... I was expecting the Psychic Storm to work like the Flamer and leave down the damaging areas for a turn. That could hurt us because if the Librarian dies we fail the mission. I hope the Librarian doesn't die, I don't want to fail the mission. Whoop, he died. Nice. And he might... yes! Awesome. Okay. We're good, these guys know how to shoot. Come on, don't jam. Nice. Excellent. Come on, librarian. No jam. Oh. Your bolter is a piece of crap. Seriously. You know, all the lore about how well maintained and how much work they put into keeping their weapons up to scratch, the Space Marines. The amount of times they jam in this is just incredible. Okay, so we only generated two points. That's okay. And we got one hostile up here. We got no hostiles up here now. That's good, our Overwatch took them out. So I'll move him to here, turn him for two, and put him into Overwatch to cover this guy if he comes around the corner. Like that. So now our back's covered. So we need to deal with all of these guys. Okay, now that I know what Psychic Storm actually does... Let's see, I can turn him for two. Step forward for one, two, and drop the Flamer. But he's only got one more Flamer shot left. So we really have to make it count. We've got hostiles. Whoop! Did not mean to pause that. We've got hostiles down here. This could get very ugly. Okay, we've got seven points of psychic power left. So that's pretty much two more force barriers and a psychic storm. Or we can turn it into movement. But I'm guessing that's only once per turn, the same as all the other abilities, so that's pretty useless to us at the moment. Um, okay, I'm going to save my flame a shot. I'm going to drop Force Barrier there, here. Drop it here. I want them to bunch up in here. We're going to move this guy straight up to the edge of the field, no?
two to there, four to there, two more to get into there. He won't get close enough to help that guy. Yeah, okay. He's going to have to get rezzed next turn. So I think we'll move the librarian to here. That force barrier is going to keep us safe this turn. So I just want to get him out of the way because this guy's going to need a clear line of sight to fire his flamer when we decide to blow it. So let's we'll just use his four points to get him turned around and moved up. This guy's covering our back. We're going to be we're going to be vulnerable from this entrance way, but there's nothing that can get there this turn. Same as from this one. So that just means we need to spend as much as we can to get these guys up here. So 4 plus 2 will get him to there, so he can res him straight away next turn. So we'll go with that. And then just 4 points to get this guy up into position. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. That's all our points. He has points left. Yes, so we'll unjam. Unjam his bolter. He's got one point left that we can't do. We can move him up to there, but... No. Okay. Let's see what the gene stealers do. Multiple targets acquired. That is not what I wanted to have happen. On the other hand, they're bunching up nice and tightly in here. Okay. Let's see. Well, first of all, revive this guy. So brother um, uh, Sergeant Lorenzo is back. He can't do anything this turn. Uh, we'll use our three movement to get him up to there. Use his four movement to get him up and facing that way so we can walk through the corridor next turn. Okay. This guy's bolt is jammed. So we'll spend one to unjam, spend one to shoot, and kill. That reveals this one. It's just one stealer, but. Oh, we got five points. We could take a shot. Yeah, okay, we're gonna take a shot. Damn it, that was a bad move. Okay, put him in Overwatch. Now we got four bonus points and we got these two guys to go. So let's use our flamer shot. Oh, that's going to kill more of them, but we'll have that one guy left. See, so we kill one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, we're going to take this shot. That one guy is going to be sealed off in there. Two. Uh, okay, so that's his turn. So let's we'll move him up here for two, and then probably take a shot with his bolter to try and kill that guy off. Two. They went into the fire, so we'll be safe from that front. Yeah, okay. We'll move him up to here and we'll take some shots. Oh, there we go. Killed him off. Good stuff. Can we shoot this guy? We can. Let's just spend some points to try and kill this one off. I'll just keep spending points. There we go. So now that one's down. And we're actually going to be able to save our psychic power for this turn because we don't need it. We're going to need it next turn for sure, so we'll hold on to it. 
I shouldn't have put him in Overwatch yet. We could have used some extra points to keep shooting, but that's okay. Instead, let's see. The flame is all burnt out, so he's not much good to us anymore. So let's use our three to move him up. Two. Yeah, okay, we'll move him up to there. And we'll move him up to there. Okay, and end our turn. So the only danger we have is this back guy. And he just took out the only thing that can kill him, so he's going to be alright. That blip isn't going to reveal itself. So we've got two stealers there, one stealer there, and a blip coming around the corner. Okay. We generated four, and now we can re-roll because we have a sergeant. Excellent. Okay. We've got four points. We've got no flamer, so this is going to be very dangerous. So I think... I don't think we gain much from getting an extra point. So I think our best bet will be... Let's see, he could run to the exit for all of our combo points. And that would get him out. Which... Might be the way to go. No, we're not going to do that. Okay, we'll move him up three. Move him up three and we'll drop our barrier there. That should make these guys all sort of... Mm. Well, we stand him still. Yeah, okay, I'm going to drop the force barrier here. Hopefully that means these guys will clump around it. Next turn we can fry them with Psychic Storm and then walk through. Hopefully. And we'll walk forward one square just to get him a little bit closer. Okay, and the rest of these guys can just move up and get ready because yes, next turn we're going to be making our wild dash for the exit. You can go four to there. Uh, you've got hostiles coming around the corner there. Otherwise you're fine though. So let's... Let's just move you back two and put you into Overwatch. Yeah, we got extra movement, so let's get him three to there, four to turn, Move. and we're all conga lined up and ready to go. Okay, let's see how this goes. I have movement, brothers. Come on. Nice, get all grouped up there. Cool, Overwatch is going to keep him alive. And he is a beast, just wiping them out. Another blip up there, that's not going to worry us. Five points, yes, alright, I think we can end it. I think we can end it, so let's drop a Psychic Storm. We need to drop it in such a way that it's going to fry all of them and not fry me. So I'd say like that. We killed one. Ugh. Okay, that's all of our psychic power gone, so shoot. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. There we go. Okay, so he's down. It would cost all of his movement and he wouldn't even get there. Let's see. Four. Leave us with one point. He's not in range to shoot any others. We could move forward to there for two. That would leave us with four points. We could shoot him. And then we'd have to put him to Overwatch and hope that guy doesn't kill the librarian. I'm not sure how to do this safely. 
I think we're going to have to just move him off to the side. Turn him like that. For three. Yeah, okay. We've got to keep him safe. That's top priority. If we lose, we can lose any two of these guys. And it won't matter. But if we lose the Librarian, that's game over. So let's see. Move him to there. He can take two shots and go into Overwatch. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That blip will be a problem next turn. Ah, oh, cool. He took him out. So... Move forward for one, turn for one, go into Overwatch. Okay, we're going to do that. Move for one, turn for one, and I'll put him into Overwatch. That way, if we're lucky, he'll kill him and kill the blip when it comes around the corner. And we will actually be home free. So, yeah, put him into Overwatch. Okay. And we just move everyone else up. Of course, if that guy's bolter jams and he goes down, we could take a lot of casualties. And you are just gonna continue moving back. Actually, you're pretty safe. There's no. Yeah. Back again. Don't need to put you into Overwatch. Nah, you'll be fine. Okay. Damn, I wanted to finish it that turn, but it looks like we'll have to... They come. Hopefully we'll survive. Oh no, shoot him! Oh... Entry, my that is exactly what I didn't want to have happen. He's gonna move forward. Oh, don't attack, don't attack. Come on. Oh, yes! Lightning Claws, alright. We need a good roll. One, re-roll. Two, wow. Ugh. Four plus one will get him out. But that won't get the rest of them out. Shoot, 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 shoot. Um, one to there, one to turn, one to fight, one to move, two to go in the guard. And that's assuming he kills him in the one shot. It's not worth it. <sighs> oh man, I could lose this. That would be very depressing after an hour. Okay, that's his movement. You walk forward one. Take your shot. Kill him, good. He's dead, so now one to there, one to turn, and I can put you into guard. That's what I'll do. Get you to there, get you into guard. Oh, good job. Yes, put you in guard. He's a sergeant, so he should be pretty safe. Now, the flamer is completely useless now. So we'll just run you up. And two points to there, three to there. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's a bit too close for comfort. Uh, two points to there and I'll put you in overwatch. Damn, this one corridor is really doing mean. Scanning for enemy movement. Okay, put you in Overwatch. You're pretty well safe. So you're going to turn around and run. Run down the corridor, just in case we need an extra guy. Okay. As long as that sergeant can hold... We should make it. Come on, man. Make us proud. Wow. Wow, he goes down first strike. 
That could be game. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Please kill him. Oh no. The machine spirits guide my fire. Oh. He can fight. Come on. Live. Live. As long as they don't block me off. Okay. Okay, things are definitely desperate now. We need a good roll to run out. One point? Ah! Oh, this game hates me. One, two, three, four, five. We can do it. Okay. Screw this. We're out of here. One Terminator. Safe. Two Terminators. Safe. Librarian. Safe. Oh, Jesus. Our brothers live, and your actions bring honor to our chapter. It took an hour and five minutes. We killed 39 gene stealers. Five out of seven survived. That's not too bad. 13 turns. Oh, man. We almost failed that. That would have been so depressing. <sighs> Alright guys, well... Yeah, that'll... That's been Space Hulk. So, let me know what you think. Like I said, I'm going to get these up in HD, so they'll take me ages to upload, but... You guys have been asking for it, so... I'll do what I can, even though my internet is garbage. So I'm probably going to try and get one HD video a week, but I've been trying to do regular uploads again and been failing at it, so we will see. We will just have to see how things turn out. But yeah, so let me know what you think, guys. Appreciate any feedback and you know, likes and comments and all that good stuff. All helps out, and yeah. I'm thinking I'll probably end up doing some Bioshock for my next HD upload. So I'll probably do one video of that and then based on your feedback whether I'll make it into a series or just move on to another game. So that's probably what I'll end up doing with like any HD uploads because if you guys aren't interested in like seeing me play a game I'm not going to go to the trouble of uploading it in HD because it just takes way too long. And it's just, yeah, just way too much time. But yeah, that'll do for this one, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.